Hello and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis. For today, I decided to cover our cross asset list. I will speak about Kofi WTI or US 100, USD Japanese Yen, Pound Dollar, Euro Dollar, US 30, Gold Dollar Index, and Bitcoin versus US Dollar. Uh, we'll do so by using our FX Centrum uh, platform. So let's begin with the coffee market. What we can see here is the last couple of months, the coffee is trading sideways. Uh, yesterday we had um, basically a bullish day, but market closed uh, in the middle of the, of, the, of the range, which is a not good sign um, for the upside continuation. So it's a kind of sign of weakness just around this middle Bollinger Band. So at this point, I will I like to see the breakout of the either upper Bollinger Band at 195.80 or lower Bollinger Band at 182.70 in order to confirm a bigger direction on the coffee market. So, so far, just waiting for the breakout since the coffee is trading in a trading range. Speaking of WTI, we can see that market had a down day yesterday. Uh, so, a couple of days ago, market finally broke our key resistance, as you can see here at 79.70 mark. It closed above. Um, the upper Bollinger Band, but still left the tail of the pin bar at this point, as you can see, which actually is a sign that we had some, probably some profit taking happen. And then natural pullback yesterday towards the middle Bollinger Band again. Uh, so at this point, middle Bollinger Band is around 78 mark. And um, still our idea from a week ago or so is uh, valid since um, is trading, uh, WTI is trading above the 75.38. And there is a chance for that rejection and further upside continuation in next uh, period um, towards the 83.40 and 89.70 uh, mark. So pay attention to this middle Bollinger Band. It's an uh, it's important uh, reference point to watch for today, that 78 um, level. I can also go and check lower. So you can see here market traded lower on 30 minute time frame. Close below, had a natural pullback, more like a sideways, more like a bear flag and then further downside moment but this time the whole downside moment at this point is weaker compared to this initial move um, because here market is having very hard time to close below the lower Bollinger Band and we kind of creating some kind of exhaustion in the last um, I will say seven to eight hours which can result with a rally going, in, going into the US session. Now US 100, um, if you check here, um, we had a breakout of that uh, upper Bollinger Band and close above, but the very next day we had a down uh, reaction down into the Bollinger Band again. And so far some follow through this morning. This can result for the downside moment and for the downside correction uh, towards the middle Bollinger Band, which is set at 17,000, I will say um, 17,900 mark. So you can see the, the fast line is also correcting here. Uh, something similar we had at this point here when the market corrected the middle Bollinger Band and also this point here. And now we have here. So there, there is a good chance for the market to correct towards the middle Bollinger Band. If we take a look at the lower time frames, like a 30 minute time frame, we can see there was um, a natural market even had a very higher time just to correct the middle Bollinger Band and now an, another downside break of the lower Bollinger Band. So sellers are in control at this point and uh, there is a chance for the for this test of the middle Bollinger Band on the daily time frame. So pay attention on that. This can be a, a decent trade uh, idea for uh, for today. Now use the Japanese Yen. Uh, we can see here in the daily time frame. Look at uh, look at the range of the Bollinger Bands. It's getting very tight here. We didn't see something like this in almost in the last couple of months. And this is just a sign of contraction and volatility and uh, potential for the breakout in next period. So uh, pay attention to resistance at 151 and support in 149.20 because the breakout of either resistance or support can really signal uh, some bigger moment on this currency pair. For example, the breakout of the support uh, which is at 108, uh, 149.20 uh, um, can be a strong sign for the further drop towards the 148.27 or even even um, downside movement towards the, the next uh, pivot level, which is all the way down around 143.50 mark. 
So in case of the upside breakout of 151 and hold above, then there is a 150, uh, 185 level, and then uh, we can have, we have 152, 153, um, 153 mark to watch. So big contraction on USD Japanese yen and volatility and potential for expansion in next period. Pay attention also for the breakout on this currency pair. Now British pound versus US dollar uh, pretty much market reacted and retested the, uh, the resistance. This is something that uh, I mentioned uh, yesterday, potential for retest of that 1.2700 mark. That's exactly what happened. And now we had some you know, inside day so far develop, uh, developing here relative to the previous day range. Now pay attention on the upper Bollinger Band at 1.2710. In case the breakout of that level next upside objective will be 1.2772, which is basically this resistance cluster from the background. In case of the pullback um, and further downside moment intraday, um, previous day low, can be in the play 1.2655 and the middle Bollinger Band is set at 1.2640. Again, slow line is rising uh, and the fast line again regaining the strength. So the short term trend is upside. Euro dollar, uh, something also that uh, pretty similar to the pound, the slow line is rising, uh, fast line corrected a couple of days ago. So there is a chance for the, for the higher prices towards the upper Bollinger Band and this tail, as you can see here, at 1.0888. And we have um, the upper Bollinger Band at this point is uh, set at 1.0905. And of course, the swing high um, uh, around 1.1113 is also the objective in case of the bigger downside move, a bigger upside move. In case of the downside uh, moment, um, previous day low is set at 1.0837, a middle Bollinger Band around 1.0805, and short term trend is bullish and potential for higher prices. That will give more chance for the higher prices and upside continuation next period. Yes, 30 is uh, just in a sideways range. So we have a support at 38,740 and resistance around 39,317. Uh, um, here we can see that fast line is going down. Slow line is trying to, um, to, to change and from the bull to bear. Um, and uh, But still we need to respect middle Bollinger Band and see this range potential, watch for potential breakout. Lower Bollinger Band is set at 38,317. Gold market did a really fantastic job. This is something that I alerted yesterday. So that potential for the bigger rally on the gold, that's exactly what happened as you can see here. Um, the last couple of days, the daily, uh, the daily was showing like a sign of strength. Um, slow line was uh, trending higher and the fast line just corrected a bit here around the middle Bollinger Band and then there was a breakout right there. A 2050 mark was a key pivot and now even all the way up towards the 2121. Um, you can see also the expansion in Bollinger, so in the volatility, the big expansion is happening on the, on the gold market. Uh, early time frame, as you can see, look at this, so you can see after the strong rally there was a natural a sideways a pullback and then another rebreak um another move higher another natural sideways move towards the uh, middle bollinger band another contraction overnight another breakout so now we can see here that market is already expanded so i would like to see some kind of contraction and more sideways to develop on the gold and watch for the next directional move but so far um, our objective basically is reached here, uh, so almost um, $70 rally on the gold. Uh, the key resistance of the highest uh, point, uh, the highest high, uh, this area is 21.49. Just in case of the further upside continuation, 21.49 is as the key uh, swing high, the spin bar high from like November last year. But I would like to see more consolidation um, intraday. Seems like it's still pretty expanded here. We'd like to see something like we had here, 
the market went on this intra frame very tight, like it's an hourly time frame, and then we had a breakout. So the next market is dollar. Uh, we, we have a dollar index still in the very tight consolidation between the now we have a support uh, at 103.50 and the resistance uh, around 104.20. Again, what I like here is this uh, slow line is sloping to the downside. There was a, just a rally, like more like a reaction on the fast line, and now again, fast line is sloping to the downside. So there is a chance for the downside breakout. And in case of the breakout, let's say of 103.50 and in bar low at 103.22, there is a potential uh, for the drop towards 102.07. And um, that is something that I'm uh, watching carefully. So probably we will, for this kind of breakout, we will need some kind of um, fundamental uh, event or some kind of news which will bring more uh, volatility on the dollar. And Bitcoin versus US dollar, such a phenomenal run. This is how everything started. When we had a breakout and market actually was holding on a daily for a couple of days, just holding and holding, that was a strong sign. So this area here was a strong sign of the breakout of this whole range, right? Which we were developing this for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, basically. And then such a lovely natural pullback at this point here and re-break of that, that was a sign that we can have a stronger bull moment so from 52,000 all the way to 69,000 almost. So that was a really phenomenal run. But what happened here, um, yesterday we had a, such a strong uh, up, uh, I mean the bullish breakout and market closed again above the upper Bollinger Band, but now it's trying to go and trade below. So I would like to see how today, of course, this is a very extended market to think about some short-term bullish opportunities after such a such a big move, where originally the 52,000 was a strong pivot to think about a bullish idea. And this, uh, this example, we're pretty much extended. So I would like to see you see the lots of volatility market went all the way to the lower Bollinger Band and the early sold off and so so market will need some kind of consolidation maybe there is even potential for the some kind of a, a pullback but so far I would like to see today and um, some more development on the Bitcoin pretty much extended market close above upper Bollinger Band uh, after already big extension so this can result a downside move and some sell-off um, but uh, we would like to see more confirmation on Bitcoin. Obviously, 69,000 is a key pivot. Um, you can also see here on the monthly time frame, we have a 69,000, like a, a key swing high from like a um, year ago or so. So it'll be all uh, for uh, this uh, FX Centrum daily market um, analysis. Don't forget um, to visit our fxcentrum.com uh, website, explore uh, promotions, um, check our FXCTV uh, and, um, you know, subscribe on our YouTube and social media so you, so you will be uh, always alerted uh, for every, after we upload every new video or trading idea or tutorial or location article. So explore the website and until next time um, have a good uh, trading day